Vinay, I'm sharing the recording, right? Yes, sir. Then why again separately recording? Clarity is there, right? Video? Uh, yeah, yeah, sir. Fine. Then unnecessarily separate effort. Yes, sir. If I'm not sharing, then you can uh, record it. But I'm sharing, right? All the videos. Okay, okay. Invoice creation, you know already, right? Invoice. So after creating invoice, the next step here is create account. So invoice we can will derive. You can arrange in a shorting order here. You can take the recently created invoice. So these are transactions. Okay. So take this transaction and then you can go to your receivable responsibility. Then transactions. Query with this transaction. You can see the invoice. And this is the sales order number here. Okay. So now what we can do, there is an option here create accounting, view accounting. After doing a create accounting, we can go with the view accounting here. So click on create accounting. And there are three methods here draft mode, you can modify anytime. And then it will allow you to create entries also. And final accounting, it will transfer to GL here. After creating entries, it will transfer to GL. And this one here is posting also here, see? Posting into the GL. So out of three, I am preferring here, final accounting. It has to create the accounting entries like debit account, credit account, and it has to transfer to GL also. So create final accounting it is. You can, okay? These are all called as a mode three modes, draft mode, final mode, and final post mode it is. So once it is created, you can go to view accounting here. View accounting. Here is the place. There are two entries here. You should know the names. This is already derived here. Those are all debit account here, DR, and debtor account and credit account. Just names enough. Okay. So one name here is receivable account, and credit account is revenue tax account. These two are. Okay. Receivable account, revenue tax are the credit accounts. If you wanted to know in which table you can find out all this, you have to go to about this page here. So the, on the bottom, you can see about this page. You have to click on that about this page and then business component reference details and all we have to use. I'm just clicking on this about this page. There is a business component reference. You can see here. Okay, expand this. 
and here is the place vo at the end we can see vo these are all oa framework related components vo means view object view object will have a query i am just clicking on anyone okay let's say i am just checking this so this is the query this query is already given by oracle just simply double click and then copy okay it is not aligned properly right we don't know by at once you will not be able to identify where is the from class correct copy this go to toad here and then paste that particular query after pasting it we have to format it correct it selected here in the bottom escape it's not allowed okay i'm just canceling this the cursor was in output window that's why that's a problem now you can paste over here in the editor this is called as a editor here So we pasted here to format this shift control f we can use like this the whole query formatted properly now after formatting you can see the tables here these are all the tables okay excel ae headers lines events transaction entities these are all belongs to that particular accounting related tables okay copy this to see the debit and credit information this many tables we have to use e headers lines and then events no another one here is transaction entities so xla stands for here is sub ledger accounting it is sub ledger accounting okay it is a short form here xla is a short code like for ap for payable it is ap for receivable it is ar like that for sub ledger accounting also it is xla okay to see that i'll show you anyway first i'll copy this before going to find out any module short name you can go to the responsibility that is application developer responsibility application register and here is the place sub ledger accounting so the short name is what it is excel majority of the times in every module you can easily identify the tables okay in account receivable it starts with a r r r a in po purchase order it's every table starts with a po in sub ledger accounting also every table starts with a shortcut that is what it is excel excel is the sub ledger accounting it is okay now tables we have seen right go back to receivables here transactions and transaction here is a place your invoice number This is a invoice number or transaction number. Both are same. Okay. Go to tools. We already done the accounting here. Just I'm showing a navigation. If you want to do it, see, no accounting will be created because we already created. And to see accounting, go to view accounting here. Click on view accounting. These are all debit and credit. Forget about all this, whatever you are saying. But this entire information is stored into tables. 
So this is the OA framework page. That's why you can see URL here. To see the tables behind this, as I told you, this one about this page. Then after that, business component, reference details, expand it. Then you choose any one of the viewer. Let's say you select it. If you feel there are no tables related to that, then what you have to do? You change the other one like this. Still, if you are not able to see, then change the other one like that it is. So this is the way we can identify the query and its related tables. Okay. Now, that's about the create accounting and one more is view accounting. Is two. two steps completed, create accounting and view accounting. Now, if you go here, right now, 21,340 is the invoice amount, okay? There is no receipt amount related to this. Click on line items and go to sales order and check all the information here. So to deduct some amount here, invoice we created, okay? So by mistake, we sent this 21,340. If you wanted to deduct some amount like $5,000 or $10,000, so that is called as a credit memo here. So I already mentioned here, credit memo. Okay, we created an invoice already, created accounting also. To create a credit amount, we, we have to go to tools and credit. In the menu, we can see tools, check here, credit. Right. Okay, actions. It's not uh, in the tools. The menu is what is actions. It's actions wrongly mentioned here. Go to actions. There is option here credit. We are creating a negative transaction here. We are going to deduct amount from that 21,000 some change. So let's say I would like to add some 5,000 out of it. And source is order entry only. Um, if you look at here, see, what is the transaction number? 9488, right? 1049488, that is an invoice number. But once we create a credit number, it will generate over here Re regarding to this invoice number. So we haven't entered any data, so it has not given any number, but we'll enter. Go to credit lines. And here is the place item number. Then amount, it is minus 5,000. Let's say enter 5,000. You cannot increase the balance. So what you have to do? Minus. So we are subtracting, right? Then OK. Go to main tab. So do you see there is angular brackets? So that means we are directing that amount from original invoice. We are reducing the amount, simply we can say. Credit memo means we are reducing, reducing the amount. Okay, save. So once it applies, then you will be able to see here, there is one number created out of it. So this is the invoice number and it's related credit memo, this is the one. Okay, now if you wanted to identify what is the invoice number and it's related credit memos, both are stored into single table only. That is called as a RA customer TRX all. Same table, but two different information. So to identify that, what you can do, go to and it called as a self join. We are joining the same table to itself. Like EMP, DPT have already added, I know that, right?
example. If you want, you can provide confusion. Is an invoice table that is a credit table, let's say. PRX number. And then credit. PRX number. You are looking for one particular transaction number. Is equal to your transaction number. Uh, which one I should select? This one. <coughs> now the join condition between these two is invoice dot customer TRX ID is equal to previous customer TRX ID. What it means here? Uh, this is credit memo or credit note, uh, credit number. This one is invoice number. Now you can easily understand by seeing the alias. Invoice number is 100 Correct, this is the invoice number. And this is what it is, it is a credit number credit memo. So to derive it, what we did is, we have added one column here, join condition, previous customer TRX ID, correct? So this is the way we can derive. The next question is, what it is? What is credit memo? and how to derive, we, we have done already. What is credit memo? It's a negative amount. We will reduce the amount from original invoice and how to derive it by using this join condition. Okay. okay. Yes. Huh? Amount, increase. amount increase means like you have to add opposite the debit, right? Debit memo, we can add up. So you can adjust amounts here. Now you can go, here is the place. This is the original invoice information. If you want to do credit, you can go to actions and credit here, okay? And you can adjust also here. If you want to modify something, and if you want to change the currencies also, there is an option here, adjust. So here is a place activity. Why are you adjusting? How much amount you are adjusting? These are all comes under adjustments. The table also AR adjustments all table it is. So right now I'm not doing anything. Okay, that's about the credit memo it is. You understood in simple words, it is simply will reduce the amount from the original invoice. Is that okay? Now, next, after creating an invoice and accounting view accounting, we have to create a receipt here. Next step is receipt. We sent an invoice to the customer. They will make a payment to our company. That's called as a receipt. Receipt is acknowledgement of your amount. So create a receipt. We can go here. Receipts. There is a receipts in the company like automatically also will receive amount through banks and all right now it's a manual receipt and receipt number double four double five let's say receipt amount customer may not pay at a time they will pay installment also right now let's say they assume that they have paid ten thousand and your invoice number this is the invoice number. You should not give in the left hand side because that is a flex field here, transaction flex field. If you give left hand side, you will not be able to identify that. 
now apply and here is the place balance due is there then click on save go to a table here if our disk is not available obviously we have to go to system last query but the table is receivable applications table here applied amount unapplied amount these are all you can see into other tables ar so you can remember easily like invoices starts from ra extension here receivable applications but receipts it is opposite here correct just it's a different different identifier it is you can easily remember ar cash receipts okay receipt number you will see the amount here 5000 amount 10000 amount and to check the balance amount needs to be received there is another table that is ar payment schedule sal okay so in this there is a customer trx id is equal to applied customer trx id check you can see somewhere the join condition is there any customer trx id yes customer trx id is there applied that is in other table customer trx id we have to make a join here i am just adding customer trx id This is the one. Customer TRX side is the join condition between these two tables. This one. We supposed to receive the original amount is twenty one thousand three forty. The amount is remaining eleven thousand. This is the pending amount needs to be. Collected from a customer, and in which date we need to get here? There is a due date also. So these three fields are important here. That's it. Okay. Are there any other columns amount related? Just check. Status also we may require. This one. That's enough. So these fields are enough. It will give you full information. Amount applied. So that means we receive. Uh, we have received ten thousand from a customer. Usually, originally we supposed to receive twenty one thousand three forty, but out of it, he is paying in installment wise. As a first installment, he paid ten thousand. and then pending amount is automatically uh, retrieved here and here status op open we can say there are other statuses also here if you want to check the different statuses you can use this these are all the different statuses check always in the back end on one is open another one is closed that's it this table is for receipts and this is for invoice only because it started with the ar not with the ra okay and another table applications table ar 
receivables applications all where applied customer trx id this column so you need to remember Spelling mistakes is receivable applications. Okay, so this is where we can see. Click on this book view. Check the columns here. Ten thousand amount applied column. You are received information here. Cash receipts. If you want to combine invoice as well as receipt tables, this cash receipt ID is a join here. Then next. This is tax amount. Here APP means applied. Applied, unapplied, unidentified. There are various statuses here. That's it. We'll use, we'll use only those information, okay? So I want to combine invoice tables as well as receipt table. So how many tables I need to add? One is invoice table is or a customer TRX all and receipt table yeah. AR cash receipts. And in between, I told you right, that is application. Overall, three tables I have to combine. Intermediary table is receivable application. There is no state giant between RA customer TRX all and AR cash receipts. So if you just see this cash receipt ID is there, right? That is a giant between these two. Check here, cash receipt ID. Do you see here, cash receipt ID? So two tables here, cash receipts and receivable applications. An invoice transaction ID is equivalent to applied customer TRX ID, right? Applied customer TRX ID. This one. So this is the way we can combine all the tables. Invoice as well as receipt. Together we can combine into single query. Okay. You will have to add all these fields, all these tables. So I'm just adding here. You don't have that. Okay, ACR, another table, receivable applications, ARA, join condition guys, ACR dot, primary key of first table, cash, receipt ID is equal to ARA dot, same on the Cash receipt ID, correct? And I need to add invoice table also, correct? That is RA customer PRX all. Join condition. Primary key of RA customer TRX all. Customer, right, customer TRX ID. That is equal to ACR uh, ARA dot no. You think about it and let me know. Correct. 
applied customer tiers. That's how we can take it. Now check all the number. RCT dot TRX number, then ACR dot receipt number. Just selection only. Query preparation is very easy actually. Only thing is you need to spend time. All these fields like applied amount, amount column, you can see. Okay. So this is the way we can see. There are other transactions on it. That's why it is. This is today's record. This is the previous record. So same number I have used earlier, receipt number. That's why it is given here. Okay. Is that clear? We have seen now join between AR invoice and AR receipt. Yes, please go on mute. So did you get a point, guys, online? Yes, sir. Yes, How many tables we need to combine? Three tables. What are they? So, RE is a receipt uh, customer TRX and AR cash receipt and uh, applicable. AR applications. AR receivable application. Yeah, AR receivable application. So, table name you have to remember fully, okay? Yes, yes. Now, after doing a receipt also, we have to do again same story, create accounting, and then followed by view accounting. Two times we need to do, create accounting and view accounting. One is after completion of the invoice, other one is after completion of receipt. So now you are okay, right? Go to tools, create accounting. So which one I need to select? Final, no, not draft, final accounting we have to select. If you do draft, then we need to create a general transactions again manually. Difficult. Final. Go to now. Create accounting is over. Now next is view accounting. Here, if you notice, debit credit changed. Correct. Earlier, what was the debit account? Earlier. Names, I'm talking about names here. We have not noted down, is it? Okay, debit account. Next is credit. Debit is cash. Because we received money from customer, right? The next is credit, is a receivable account. And earlier we have seen here debit account is what it is. Debit credit. Earlier debit account is receivable and credit account is revenue. Revenue yes. account. Yeah, just you need to remember like that. And as a final step right now, transfer to GL. Our O2C cycle is completed at this step. Transfer to GL here. So to transfer to GL, what you have to do? Go to weave request. There is a program here. Transfer general interest to the GL. So this program, what it will do? It will transfer the data from account receivables to general ledger here. Okay. Revision operations. End date. 
today's date. If I don't give com, uh, that hyphens also, it will take automatically. Press tab. Posting, you can post it right away also, but you can do separately. Click on OK, then submit. Fine. So meantime, one point we missed it here. After doing a subledger accounting, we have seen some tables, right? These tables. If it is not able to create properly, we can see into one error table. That is error table we missed it. Accounting errors. Okay. If you want to check in the back end, you can check some reasons. Excel accounting errors like this. There's a error information you can see in this. There are various reasons are there here. You can go through all those. If someone asks you what are the common errors you faced at the time of accounting, you can use this. Okay. There are 4,000 errors approximately in this table. All look same because of this number, see, a line number, it's, it looks different here. But message is same, see, almost same it is. The segment value for the account code combination is not assigned like that. This type of errors we can get. Another one, mostly code combination issues only it will come. all same one, one uh, error looks different this is for budgetary control with the following usually functional people will fix all those issues we are not worried about all those errors messages and all our duty is simply in remembering the table name that's it so we can easily retrieve all this data if they see this message Definitely, that is something related to functional setup. They will fix it. Okay. Anyway, uh, we have seen the error table also. For transferring one program, we have seen, correct? Go to transfer general entries to GL. This is the program. It will internally trigger one program that is general import. This is the program. General import is a standard program. It will create journals. So to check the journal, you take first this batch name here. I'm just selecting batch name. See, June, I'm not selecting batch. This is the June record, correct? So we have to take at this moment, July, take this receivable name and a status is a group id source name these are all we can see so take this batch name here then go to general ledger module as of now we have seen in ar module only now i am moving to general ledger so as of now three major modules we have seen one is order management account receivable and then other one is general ledger okay go to now inquiry and then journal we already created we are inquiring journal batch name find here so this is the it is unposted if you choose the posted over there it will become it will make it to posted so right now unposted we have we have not posted as of now review general you can see all the information like in which period it is month and year and then taxation who has created this like status is not reverse sometimes we can reverse the general also and these are all debit and credit here only we can see information if you click on t account t means transaction accounts you can see a pictorial representation over here like this on a paper how they will write accountants and all the same way here 
and here also certain tables are there those are all uh, glje headers and then next one is uh, glje lines and one more is batches you can see gl j is general entry glj batches batches means we are moving all the data at once monthly data like bulk data we are moving in the form of batches if it is individual record we can move alone okay uh, how many tables you have seen as of now gl j batches yeah headers is the next table gl j lines these three tables we have seen now there is one more last step in o2c cycle that is post we are in still gl but we are posting here posting is the final step you can go to journals and there is an option here post you can choose a batch here the same batch only earlier whatever whatever i copied from here same batch only click on find then post choose this particular checkbox as of now it is unposted we have to post it so once it is posted one program will be submitted automatically you can see that posting posting single ledger and then it will trigger another program automatically so we have completed now o2c cycle here there are some other cross questions are there we'll see we have put all batches have completed status check with no errors there are no errors here and batch name anyway you go and inquire again so how to inquire navigation here or here only inquiry and then after that the journal then enter the batch name click on find then it is earlier what was the status here unposted now it is posted this is the ending step so once it is posted where can you see is there is another table that is gl balances so as of now we have entered over here all these tables after posting one table will be affected that is gl balances when this table will be affected is after posting only it will be affected not after creating entry in gl balances you can see all the information okay you can verify all the table star means all the columns you can see clearly all the information debit credit year quarter the complete information it will be the balances okay so all this we can combine with the header id line id all of if you want to check the so all queries are available in internet because many people are working okay So simply we can say gl balances query in oracle applications at all or 11 i also find but some tables changed right you can see These are all the tables what we discussed. Headers, lines, batches. Join condition obviously the primary key of this by seeing also you can tell. What is the primary key obviously? That is J E header ID. Primary key of this J E batch ID. Preparation is easy just and you need to join with the code combinations. Okay, this is P for what it is. 
posted. Status is posted. And this is the actual balance it is. That's it. You want me to develop? Nothing complicated, right? Between these two, JE header ID. Between this one and this one is batch ID. And this JL code combination is code combination. Okay. Code combination ID you can see at line level. Go to review general, where the code combinations are there in the header level. Are there any, this line level here? These are all codes. 0, 1 is the one code, triple zero another code. Like that, 30 segments will be there. Right now, only five segments are there. One, two, three, four, five. Five segments. But in this table, this information is stored into a table here. That is GL code combinations. GL code combinations. Okay. There are certain segments are there. See that? See segments from here onwards. One, two, three, four, five only we have used. In some projects, six segments they will use. In some projects, seven segments, not beyond that. Of course, there are 30 segments here. Do you see 30 segments? Okay, these are all the key information of a company like department and then uh, the division, cost center, all this we can see in this segments only. So this is called as a key flex field also. Okay, KFF stands for key flex field. This flex fields information is stored into a column that is segment column. So how many segments we have in this? There are around 30 segments. Okay. So this is where Votus is completed. And one query is there here that covers AR to SLA to GL. This is called as a drill down query. Why we are saying a drill down is if you face any issue in account receivable module or subledger accounting module, you need to come back from GL or else we can say it is backtracking. Initially what we did, we have created invoice received and transfer to GL, right? Now we are coming back from GL to SLA, SLA to ER. So we need to combine some tables. So what are the tables? At the AR side, what are the tables we have to give? RA customer TRX all, RA customer TRX lines all. At SLA side, what are the tables we need to combine? Excel ADAS lines, today we discussed. GL side, GLJ ADAS line balances. But to combine, there are two major tables are there. One is XLA transaction entities. At SLA side, and other one is GL import references. This table I did not tell you as of now. GL import references. And one more, another table also I did not tell you. RA, CUS, TRX, GL, Pistol. All the accounting information we can see in this. If you want to combine three modules, these three tables are important. The rest, all the tables you are aware. Okay, entities we discussed, is it? No. Yeah, it's there already. Okay. But two tables I did not tell you as of now. Those are all. Clear? So one query, let me give you. Instead of combining manually, I'll just get it from our notes only. This is the query. Same query, you can use it in your project also. It will not vary.
Copy. Transaction number, I should give my own transaction. This one, correct? I'm just changing the transaction number, not changing anything. Let's execute it. Let's see what is the result. It's not giving. Yeah. Period name? Uh, July, right? Still anything missing? Or I'll comment this. Okay, it is init cap, J capital, the rest is small, okay. This is the query, okay. So this query is giving here how much we posted and what is the GL account in which month and year and sales order number also giving, see. The O2C complete query it is. And then invoice number, sales order number. Then after that, your batch name also, correct? Journal name, batch name. The complete O2C information is given. Now go to the from class. So this table I typed you just before, correct? RA, cust, TRX, line, GL, distal table. And this you know already. This one just before we typed code combinations and periods, month and year. OER headers all, lines all. And these two, correct. And there is a distribution links I have not covered, but this is also important. And these are all GL tables. GL import references, headers, lines, all those, okay? You need to know how these are all joined together. Okay. I'll tell you the what are the major joints. I'll show you now. We can develop this, not a problem, but slowly we have to go one by one. If one join misses also, then it will not give proper records. Okay. We need to do a backtracking, correct? First from GL. This is the table here. GIR stands for GL import references. It is these two. I'm just marking with yellow color. <laughs> two columns in same GL import references. GLSL link ID and then GLSL link table. Two columns are there. With which table we are combining here is at lines table only. XAL means XLA AE lines. We are combining with the subledger accounting tables. Now again XA, XAL where it is, just check. XAL, this one, XAL. This is another join here. Okay. Now again, XDL. We are coming down, guys. XDL, where it is here. So this one we need to make a join. You will have to remember all this columns, table names, both. XLA distribution links, XDL means XLA distribution links. The column name is source distribution ID num1, number one it is. This is the column name. And here LGD, LGD means if you go up LGD where it is. This one. Okay. RA cus TRX line GL distribution solve. Simply we can say line GL distribution solve, LGD it is. Go back. That's about the time. 
the rest of all we no need to say. These are all common things. TRX ID, line ID, those are all common things only. Overall, three joints, or four joints backtracking. So first step here is these two, yellow color. I'll just change the color so that you can come to know. The next is another color. And then final one here is only three major joints. That's it. So this is the call. This call is a drill down query. It covers the entire order to cache cycle. As of now, this query we have not seen. Order management tables we have, receive tables, invoice tables, subledger tables, GL tables. It's a complete O2C query. Okay. So whatever I highlighted this in the query, that you can use it as it is. The rest of the join you can easily tell. See, uh, in GL, JE, batches, batch ID, header table, header ID, import references, line number. These are all I no need to explain separately. Only highlighted colors only how to say. So that's about the how to say, guys. The rest of the flows are very easy because you are habituated with the application. Uh, the rest of the flows we can finish in just 30 minutes, 45 minutes like that. Not these many six classes. So the next after break, I'm thinking to take one is internal sales order. Then second one is drop shipment. And third one is back to back. For every flow, 45 minutes is enough, not like six days. Because you are habituated with the application, you know where to create item, you know where to create on hand quantity, correct? Now onwards, the speed will go here. We can teach very fastly also. After this, like there is another flow that is P2P cycle. P2P cycle will take time. I need to derive queries, everything. Okay. Then after that, that's it. These are all the cycles. Once we finish cycles, then we can go with the reporting tool that is the XML publisher. I'm thinking to finish very fastly this batch actually. I don't want to take many days. I'll take some extra hours and we'll finish it up. Okay. Not like 30 days, 45 days and all. We'll take some extra hours and we'll finish. It's like a corporate trading one. Not daily one, one, one hour. Even I also don't have time. You also don't have time. Okay. Guys online, do you have any doubts? My class is completed. No, sir. No doubt. Again, we need to join, sir, in the meeting. After half an hour, 10 o'clock. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay.